you know. So you're limited with space, and so the space control becomes a problem. So desktop dining has a lot of disadvantage. There are so many dilemmas to it. So you know, like, okay, let me quickly eat. And even if you're holding it in your hand, at some point you put it down because you want to take a drink. And there's a whole lot of risk that could go on there for you that is desktop dining. There's another one I call lazy eyes. Now, even when you go out to eat and you eat something like pounded yam, you come back and you're yawning. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed that lunch quite all right. Yeah. Okay. And then you're now telling yourself, okay, the other point in time, you're already tired. But when you now desktop dine, there's a lot of tendency that you'll say, you know what, let me just put my head down for a minute. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, you know, your 10 minute power, yeah. power, <laughs> power napping. Power napping. <laughs> you know, cause it, and it could easily happen. You know, okay, I'm on my lunch break. You could be like the only one in the office, everyone has gone out, but you ate at the desk. And all of a sudden, you now say, let me put my head down a little bit. Or you're even working. At that point in time, even when you're working, you're like this. You're dozing off. Dozing off. So lazy eyes are very easy to catch when you stay on your seat to dine because, you know, you, you, you're not conscious of it, but it happens. It happens. You so know, if so you took a walk and maybe go to the yes. restaurant and have your pounded yam, before you walk back, there you, you go. Know, it helps. It helps. Your brain needs that relaxation. It definitely Your needs, body it. needs it. Too. And the body needs it too. And the stretch as well. You know, we're talking about trying to be healthy now. You know, when you sit down for too long as well, it's not good because that's how arthritis comes about, right? Either you're sitting too much or you're using your hands too much. Either way, none of it is good. And then your back, of course, your spinal cord. So that's one reason why desktop dining is not encouraged at all. You can stretch it, you know. I have to say again, healthy eating is one area too. When you desktop dine, as we call it, there's a tendency that you want to eat something that's fast. And that's why we have fast foods, right? Get me a burger, get me chips, get me something. Your t the tendency is for you to now want to eat something that is not healthy. Okay. So that's what I think that, you know, right. to Festus, discourage that. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. Festus okay. really agrees with you. Let me just read this and we'll go take that break. He says, okay. there's nothing good in desktop dining. Unfortunately, it has become a common way of multitasking our way through ever-growing workload. And he says, my defense against desktop dining contamination is antibacterial wipes. I don't know how that works. We'll, we'll talk about <laughs> how many people use them. <laughs> Today we're in the lounge of a hotel, otherwise known as a hotel lobby. There are always going to be times when you need to use the facilities of a hotel, whether you're on an international business assignment or you're in the hotel lounge for a local business meeting. It's important for you to know how to conduct yourself while you're in such environments. Now this young gentleman, he has literally turned the hotel lounge into his private study. He has so many things littered all over the table. He has his files, he has papers, he has all his folders. He even has tea and two bottles of water, not to mention two laptops on the same table. Talking about the laptop, he's making so much noise while he's using the laptop, forgetting that there are other hotel users around him. What about the two young ladies that stepped in for the meeting? Their voices were so loud as they stepped in. You have to be careful to keep the tone of your voices down. Your ringtone, ladies and gentlemen, know the kind of ringtone that you have on your phone. 
use one that is not distracting at all. It's important because you have to respect the privacy of other hotel users. Um, I need to use the restroom. Do you need to use the restroom? Sorry. 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 From a hotel lounge to a private study and then finally he has just made it into his personal living room what's that all about putting your feet on the table in a public place resting as if you're about to sleep that's a complete no-no and as if the table isn't untidy enough the ladies have also left their own bags and baggages all over the table this is a no-no and it's unacceptable in public places like this. Okay, welcome back. That guy in that video yes. is, a, is a classic example <laughs> of death. Okay, how did the coffee? And he has left everything there. And you That's know it. what? He raised his leg. Yep. <laughs> okay, um, Omobola Babs says it's an incontrover incontrovertible fact that many Nigerians fall victims of one or two desktop dining, dining floors. Yep. yep. Why is that so? I don't know. Well, I just think that sometimes, like somebody earlier said, it's like the bid to want to multitask or the bid to want to be seen to be busy mm. doing something. Yes, we know, you know, as employers that you are expected to be busy, but we want you to produce results and good results at that, not just produce anything. So it's very important that you give yourself time to restore your own energy, restore your own sense of reasoning and restore, you know, you be able to reactivate your brain be able to relax it at the same time. Because guess what? The break that you have, it's a moment for you to unwind. It's a moment for you to stretch your feet. It's a moment for you to rethink if you have to think. And that's why sometimes when they say, you know what, guys, I've had a lot. I'm tired. I'm done for the day. I think I need to rest a bit. You know, but sometimes we work so hard. But I've gotten to that point where I say, okay, I think my brain is saturated. I'm going to rest. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to sleep. By the time I wake up in the morning, I feel much better when I make the mistake of you know I'm at my desk I've had dinner I've eaten, I'm still working and I stretch myself for longer than necessary I don't get any results in fact I begin to forget things mm. and I do and I leave things out or in the morning I've taken things that I have done I've left something behind because my brain was so tired but when you wake up in the morning you're more relaxed you've and re energize your brain you your sense of reasoning comes back to you but when you sit down here from 9 o'clock in the morning, you it's eat there. there, you take all your phone calls, you make, do all your reports, whatever it is that you're doing, you're on the emails, whatever, all day long, and then you get up at 5 o'clock, you then ask yourself, you know, um, have I really done, have I been that productive? Because mm -hmm. sometimes you're like, you've worked, you say, oh, the whole day has gone by so fast, I can't really see what I've done. But when you stretch, you come back, you, you give yourself room, you need to you know, structure your day. Okay, what about what uh, Festus said uh, about, you know, fighting the, the bacteria with antibacterial wipes? Yeah, definitely. So if, if for <laughs> any reason you really can't stand up, you need to meet this deadline. And of course, you also need to take in something. Will it help? Hmm. You see, ideally, on any normal day, your desk should be clean, tidied, even cleaned up polished every day because of yesterday's bacteria of course if you're eating if you're sensible enough to do that not everybody will do that by the way clean it down and all of that it still doesn't rule out the fact that you need to re-energize your brain and relax it more importantly so how do we cut this so it's like um we in offices they need to pr provide i think I'm, I'm sure actually provide somewhere where the staff can eat somewhere where the staff can relax if you have the space like you mentioned earlier have a lounge for relaxing have a dining room for dining so it's dinner time I mean there was a Perhaps training I did recently do you know there was a training I did recently here in um, in Nigeria and an alarm goes off to tell you that it's lunchtime whatever you are doing stop and there are thousands of people in that in that um, compound, in that manufacturing industry, where they now 
And I said, what's that big noise going on? They said, it's time for lunch. So whatever you're doing, stop, stop. what you're doing. It's time for lunch. Go for your one hour and come back. That's how they've got the people. Could help because yeah. if you know the alarm will go off at 12, yeah. and you have this target to meet, you want to make sure you meet at Precisely. least a substantial part because, of it yes. before the alarm yes. goes off. It's expected that you have your lunch between a certain hour. So they do it at 12 o'clock and they do it at 1 o'clock as well. So they split it up. So you must have your lunch between that time and come back. You're not expected to be in the dining room okay. in those hours. I think so it's really this, important. That, yeah. that's Desktop dining, a no-no. No. A no-no. <laughs> that's a good place to leave it. Thank yeah. you so much You're for welcome. coming on this Thank morning, you. Janet Adetu, our Thank etiquette you. coach. And so we'll go on a quick break and come back for the home stretch. Mm -hmm.